I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a comparison question for the DAF. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the DAF Destroyer book and the creator of the Orgo Man products. I want to go over a new type of question that is very important for the DAT on comparison. So come around and let's have a look. For this type of question, we're going to be choosing A if quantity A is larger. We're going to choose B if quantity B is larger. We're going to choose C if the two quantities are equal and D if the relationship cannot be determined. So I'm going to come over here. I am going to introduce Professor Blois, who has more than 40 years of experience in the area of mathematics. The professor was also my teacher when I was in college. So you're going to be electrified when you see him solve this problem. I must admit, this is a pretty tough problem, and I'm not that sure how to do it. If it was a diels alder reaction or a Clayson, it would be no problem. But i got to admit, I think this is a pretty tough problem. So here goes. Professor, I'll leave it to you. Okay. Uh, professor Blois here. Let's read the problem together. The average age of 40 students in a class is 22 years. The average age of 30 of those students is 20. Okay, quantity A is the average age of the remaining 10 students of the 30. Quantity B is 25 years. Okay, it's a comparison problem. Which quantity is greater? Can it be determined? All right, what is average? How do we compute the average age? Or the, any, any kind of average is going to be the sum of the values, in this case, the sum of the ages over the number of students. So, we know that the average age of the entire class is 22 years. The sum of the ages, we don't know. We know the number of students is 40. So from this, it's very simple to compute what the sum of the ages of the entire class is. 40 times 22 or 880. So 880 is the sum of the ages of the entire class. Now let's focus on those 30 students that have been singled out. The average here is going to be the sum of the ages over the number of students. We're told that the average of the 30 students is 20. The sum we don't know, but the number of students we know is 30. Therefore, the sum of the ages of those 30 students is what? 20 times 30 or 600. All right. So that means that the sum of the ages of the students in the class, the sum of the of ages of the total number of students in the class is equal to the sum of the ages of those 30 students plus the sum of the ages of those 10 remaining students. Well, we have values for this. We know that the sum of the ages of everyone in the class is 880. We know that the sum of the 30 students is 600 and Therefore, from that, we can figure out what the sum of the remaining 10 students is. Let's subtract 600 from both sides, and we get 280. Okay, that's the sum of the remaining 10 students. Well, what are we looking for? The average age of those remaining 10 students? The average is the sum of the ages of those 10 students divided by the number of students, which is 10. So therefore, this is equal to the average age is going to be 280 divided by 10. The average age of those remaining 10 students is 28. Okay, so that's what value A computes to be, 28. Value B is 25. Value A is greater than value B, so our choice would be A. And that's the solution to the problem. I hope that helped. That was a hard problem, I have to admit. I think after seeing this, I love organic chemistry even more. <laughs> so um, this was not that easy. How would you rate the difficulty level of this problem? Moderate? This would be considered one of the more challenging or a piece uh, of cake? Well, I to would the say, average student, not to you. To the, to the average, average student. student. Uh, Everything is easy for professor. Maybe a mid middle, middle ground yeah, difficulty. Middle ground. Middle ground. So, so you will be cracking the whip even harder down the road. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. All right. I'm almost scared to look, but I hope this gave you a great idea. Um, and mathematics could be fun. Usually it's not that much fun, but with Professor Blois, he brings it to life. Much the way I hope that I bring organic chemistry to life to all of you. Okay. Good day to you. Bye-bye.